Hey guys, so this RC airplane is a blast to play around with, but I wanna give you some tips so you don't break it. So when you first take it out of the box, you're gonna notice that it's like really fragile. And the thing you have to realize is weight is the enemy of anything that flies. So it has to be really lightweight. So don't let that give you a negative impression on this thing. It's actually very durable. I've crashed this thing uh -oh, a dozen uh -oh. times so far playing around uh -oh. with it, and I haven't had anything break other than the front landing gear falling off. So the only assembly you need is to clip these wings on. And so there are these little slots and these little hooks on the fins. And so you just pop them on push it forward, and that's it. They say you can glue these on, but you really don't need to, and I kind of feel like they'd be easier to replace um, if you don't glue them, because um, you can buy replacement fins if you ever break one. And then the landing gear just clips in just like this. Then you just take this rubber nose cone and pop that on. You know, at first I thought this was kind of silly. It's like, what's the point of even having it on here? But I flew this thing directly into the side of my house. So I can see why they have this kind of rubber nose cone on the front here. It's just gonna save you from completely destroying the plane if you crash it right into something. So this is the battery that you use to power the plane. It's all electric, it has these two motors. And what's awesome is they give you a spare battery as well. So the battery plugs into this special USB cable that they give you. So what's cool is you can charge the spare battery. If you have one of those portable USB power banks, you can charge the spare battery while you're flying. And then when the battery dies, you'll have another battery ready to go. So the battery just kind of sits down into this compartment and then this clips closed. You've got the on off switch right here. There's a little LED green LED light that'll turn on. And then on the controller, you have this one button in the middle. And so it'll blink while it's connecting and then it'll be solid when it's connected. So this is a two channel plane. So it's a lot easier to fly than most other RC airplanes. So what's cool is you control the power with this left joystick and that will turn both props at the same speed. So that's actually how you change the pitch of the airplane. The more power you give it, the, the higher it'll go. And then by pushing this joystick left or right, it'll overpower one or the other uh, prop in order to uh, initiate a turn either left or right. So there's no elevator controls or rudder controls. It's really simple. You basically just are gonna get your left and right and then up and down with the power. So it's a really clever design. You can kind of see the elevators kind of have this pitch up a little bit. So uh, when you give power to the plane, it's gonna wanna kind of lift itself up, but it definitely takes some getting used to. So if you're buying this for a young child, oh, here we go. you know, you need to have some good expectations. They need to have some good coordination. You know, if they play video games, they'll probably be fine if they have that kind of coordination with like a game controller, but it definitely takes a little bit of getting used to. But once you get it, it's all so right, all right. exciting. Yeah, this thing all goes right, fast. Right. I, I couldn't believe how quick this thing Accelerated. All right, we're you know, doing good. We're doing good. No, 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 no. You know that it's going to hit a tree or something. Whoa. Definitely try to fly this in a big straight field out, that you know have has no obstructions. The wind um, is so you don't have to really stress hard. about hitting anything. Now it does have landing gear, but honestly, the best way to launch it is to throw it. So just hold the controller with your left hand, give it full power, and just give it a toss. So you don't want to throw it too hard. Just let it take off with a gentle throw. So I have yet to break this thing. I've crashed it every single time I've flown it. The whole thing is made out of foam, so you could probably use some tape to uh, repair any damage. The landing gear and everything, really not important because you know, you're gonna be tossing it to take off. And I'm not really sure about you know, how realistic it is to, to do a landing on the, the wheels. So that's not really a big deal. But if you're looking for a really affordable way to kind of taste you know, radio controlled airplanes, um, this is definitely a ton of fun, so you're not gonna regret picking one of these up.